Black Death, when humanity almost became extinct. Picture this. You're living in 1347, and death has a smell. It creeps through every street corner, every cathedral, every royal palace. The Black Death didn't knock. It kicked down the door of civilization and nearly ended our species. Forever, within just five years, this microscopic assassin murdered between 75 to 200 million people, wiping out 30, 60% of Europe's entire population. Imagine if half your neighborhood vanished in a single season. Cities became graveyards. Villages turned into ghost towns. Children played alone in houses where entire families had rotted away. But here's the terrifying part. Medieval people had no idea what was killing them. They blamed everything. Bad air, angry gods, Jewish conspirators, planetary alignments. Some flagellated themselves bloody in the streets, believing suffering would appease divine wrath. Others abandoned all morality, convinced the world was ending. The social fabric didn't just tear, it disintegrated. The plague traveled faster than news itself, hitching rides on merchant ships and caravan routes. Caffa, Genoa, London, Paris, entire trade networks became highways of death. Priests refused last rites. Doctors fled their patients. Parents abandoned plague-stricken children. The bonds holding civilization together snapped like rotten rope. Here's what should terrify you most. We came dangerously close to complete collapse. Some regions lost 90% of their population. Knowledge disappeared with the dead. Technologies were forgotten. Entire bloodlines vanished without trace. Yet somehow, impossibly, humanity crawled back from the brink. The survivors rebuilt, reimagined, and eventually sparked the Renaissance. But make no mistake, for those five apocalyptic years, we balanced on the knife's edge of extinction. The Black Death didn't just kill people, it nearly killed the future itself.